is up guys today we're filming a feminine hygiene routine please subscribe also don't forget to like and comment on this video also check out my other videos like and comment on them also check out my instagrams are always linked down below kimono swords and fade Porridge. what i'm going to be touching on in this video is hair care body care oral oral care and hair care i don't know if i said hair care already but that's what we're gonna be talking about and this is just what i use basically on a daily basis um i was gonna film a my curly hair like hair journey but i don't know if people would want that starting with is probably hair care I'm using the shower to wash my hair I have this one this is a low porosity um protein free shampoo i got this at sh online from target i've tried their whole line i've tried the leave-in conditioner which is in the bathroom and i use the conditioner that goes with this it's supposed to be a rinse out one but i used to use it as a leave-in because it was just good enough to use as a leave-in this one is supposed to um <laughs> clarify moisturize and balance your hair and it has um i don't know how to say that word but it, it starts with a b but it has that oil in it tea tree oil and spearmint ex extract i think this is like ten dollar put her right here okay so for leave-in conditioners um i use this aussie mega moist conditioner i used to use aussie a lot but this one really does help moisturize my hair and keep it fresh my curls defined using this every so often but the one that is really like like a goat right now is this one it's the argan conditioner and it's from this company called seaweed bath company and it's a vegan um cruelty free brand this one is supposed to volumize and moisturize your hair i think this is kind of for straight like people with straight hair i think i don't know but i feel like it is but i use this I saw something with um, ultra hydrating, so I was like, let me just get it. It even has coconut in it, and I haven't like broke out in hives or anything. Um, if you didn't know, I've talked about this a few times, but I am allergic to coconut oil. And that's like a huge thing in the natural hair community is like coconut oil, but I cannot use it. Like whenever I'm working with companies, I have to like ask them to not put coconut oil in their stuff because i will literally probably because my allergy to coconuts is getting more and more severe is what i've noticed thing is i use this hakora um hair potion sometimes i use it on my scalp i've tried jamaican black castor oil on my hair and it doesn't even absorb it just sits on my hair and if i were to use it i would have to dilute it with other oils to actually like use it but it's just kind of like a waste but people hype up Jama jamaican black castor oil a lot but like for my hair type i cannot use it because it will just stick to my hair and my hair will f literally feel like like it's sticky like it's sticky and it's hard and it's just weird it's a weird feeling on to um skin care because i like talking about skin care and hair care i will go on and on about that stuff because literally that's literally all my channel is basically so we're gonna go on to toners the two toners I use is apple cider vinegar diluted with water. That's what I use every single day along with this one. This one is Sea Witch by Sea Witch Botanicals. They sent it, this to me like two months ago may, maybe and um, this is has lavender, rose, and aloe in it. I really, really like using this. This is one of the reasons why my skin is clear. I just like spraying it after I'm done washing my face and I put my moisturizer on. I used to use rose water as a moisturizer, but since Texas is really dry and I live in the desert, um, I can't do that anymore because it's still really hot here, even though it's fall. Okay, now we're on to face washes and I use a variety of them because um, depending on how my skin is doing, like right now, my big issue is my chest acne and I pick at it so much because it's itchy and stuff and it makes it even worse. The Acne Do Deep Pore Face Wash and I recently just got this a week ago. This fights breakouts even after you rinse. I don't really know if that's true, but it says it on here. The vegetarian, like me, has that in there. 
like it's acne medicine and it has it in here but only two percent it's very little i use these reusable cotton rounds i've had this for a year i think i made a weird face when i said that i was actually really glad that i invested into this because i was tired of buying cotton rounds every month and or using my mom's because she uses them a lot and i use them a lot and then i think i heard about reusable cotton rounds on instagram because i've followed like zero waste pages because i wanted to be zero waste but lately i've been really slacking and i've been using a lot of plastic I used to get questions about this i don't remember how much this was i think it was like 13 or 14 dollars but it comes with a lot in here it's not like it's just like five you can use this to remove your makeup. What I use is this. This is what I use to wipe my face in the morning before I shower. This thing, let me show you. This has to do with skincare and body care. I mean, they're all the same thing, but I use African black soap and I got this from Gigi Natural. She sent me this like a month ago and I still have like a lot left in here because I try to use it very sparingly, very tiny ball of it and I put it on my chest and on my face and it's not good to use um, African black soap every day because of how strong it is and it does dry out your skin and you have to go in with a really thick moisturizer after you do it because it sucks out all your impurities when you wash it. So many benefits on African black soap that you can literally look up on yourself if you would like to do body care now. For shaving, I've been using a male's razor because I feel like feminine razors don't really get in the nicks and crannies as well as a male's razor. Be like really careful. You can't be like doing it like crazy like I used to do it. Like I used to shave like really fast and it sounds crazy because you know who shaves like really fast but I don't even know why I was doing it so fast but when I use feminine razors I used to do it like really fast like this and then do it like this and then do my bikini line and do my legs like really fast that I use and then for deodorant I use soft and dry it's spelled differently it's not with a y but it's with an i this one's aluminum free and it's the apple blossom one for body soap I've been using this castile soap and this one's the off-brand bootleg version of the Dr. Bronner's one. It's hemp, jojoba, and olive oils, and even coconut oils. It has a bunch of like natural oils in it, and you can use it, you can even use this to clean your car. I think. Yeah, I think you can. But yeah, I've used this to wash my hair before. I don't know if I would recommend it, but my mom uses it to wash her hair a lot. But and for lotion, I use this very emollient body lotion it smells like um kind of reminds me of an old lady low-key but i think this has like aloe in it and stuff using this shimmering body oil it smells really good that one or this one and i made a video with their stuff but this is from enjoy natural products if you're wondering it's not sponsored but i've been using their stuff for like a week i think i've had this for a week or over a week I really enjoy it. This is the Shea Butter version and you can even put this on your hair. I've tried putting this on my hair, but um, this is kind of multi-purpose too because you can put this on your face, you can put this on your body, and even your hair. I've never tried this on my face and I don't really think I want to to be honest with you. Roll care now because literally like I feel like I've been talking way too fast because I'm just trying to get this out of the way. But if I'm talking too fast, I apologize. Okay, so the toothpaste that I've been using is this Hello Natural Peppermint to help with um, getting rid of plaque. I use this twice a day and also it's fluoride free because apparently that's very important. My mom's been trying to switch us to fluoride free products because I honestly don't remember but I just know fluoride is not good for you and it causes like a lot of like learning disabilities and one of them I have because i actually like saw this thing on instagram the other day it's true or not but that's just what i heard mouthwash that i use is this wicked fresh toms one um i saw this thing saying that you should use a mouthwash before you brush your teeth and it's supposed to like break down all the stuff from your mouth like from the day before or even hours before and it's supposed to just easier for you to brush your teeth clinically proven I like Tom's, but I don't like their deodorants, to be honest with you. I like their toothpaste, and I like their 
mouthwash but i don't like their deodorants because literally it doesn't last for anything honestly if i want to like do a more deep clean and i want to whiten my teeth naturally because i don't have that led thing yet but i use activated black charcoal and honestly this is multi-purpose in itself too because you can even like put this in smoothies and drinks and stuff like that and it's supposed to detoxify your body this helps i don't know if this helped but i hope this helped somehow i forgot to bring in the face mask that i use but the one that i've been using the most is the charcoal one that i was sent far i think it's helping i don't know i think it's helping but i use it on my chest and on my like problem areas but if you enjoy please give a like comment your thoughts and video subscribe if you haven't check out my other videos check out my instagrams are always linked down below kimono stories and faded polaroids i'm gonna go now turn post notifications do all the good stuff and i'll see you in my next video peace out